What's going on guys? It's Ryan. Thank you so much for tuning in for my third video in this four video series. Today we're actually going to be talking about a specific film that I love. Um, after covering in the last few videos, um, you know, certain directors, um, in particular Spielberg, what makes a movie really great, and then a perfect example of a really great children's film that I'm going to be talking about today, one of my personal favorite films of all time that I've seen and that I've grown up with, is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Um, this was one of the movies that put Spielberg on the map. He was absolute money after this movie came out. You know, guaranteed theatrical release, huge, lots of money. And the reason that happened is because the movie was a perfect balance of everything. There was something in it for the kids, there was something in it for the adults to take away from. The storytelling was rich, the characters were strong and interesting and relatable. Uh, you could kind of put yourself in some of those situations. But most importantly, and you know, spoilers if you haven't seen E.T., it's about an alien, an extraterrestrial being that comes to Earth and befriends this boy named Elliot. And over the course of the film, they form this very special, sweet, and sentimental bond that, you know, it's kind of like the whole boy and his dog narrative that a lot of movies have followed in the past. But it's different because the budget is there. You know, everything looks great visually. The practical effects for the E.T. Um, that we used a puppet and a uh, animatronic for certain shots. Um, those look really good um, to this day, but besides the budget, you know, you had great characters, you had great storytelling. The score from John Williams is just popping, it's incredible. And it's one of the reasons that the movie works as well as it does. Um, it also establishes a perspective from very early on where everything you see is from Elliot's point of view. You know, certain conversations he overhears, he hears it the way a child would, or perceives the conversation the way a child would. And in turn, it's almost like you're taking that in from his perspective. I mean, even to the point where Spielberg intentionally lowered some of the tripods so that it would be at the, the eye level of a child. So that you get that sense, that feeling, that that mystifying, you know, kind of like you don't really know what you're doing and you're kind of figuring it out as you go and taking in the world with a sense of naivety and, and, and innocence, really. Um, that's very, very rare and hard to capture and Spielberg did it perfectly. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to break down um, how you yourself can get into filmmaking and take steps in the right direction towards getting in the film industry. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.